Welcome to the presentation of the Vibration Monitoring System on the Chabandelma Bridge of Bordeaux. I represent our solution to investigate the sources of vibrations and to increase the overall quality in predictive maintenance on the bridge. This predictive maintenance is done with Deosoft Data Acquisition and with the Big Data Processing Solution, Smart Forest by Clancy. The challenge was to define the best DAQ architecture and monitoring technology for this instrumentation with long cable length and to interconnect the Deosoft Data Acquisition Solution to the Clemcy database. In 2003, the project requirements for a new bridge to cross the river in the city centre of Bordeaux, France were provide a crossing over the river Garonne for cars, pedestrians and bicycles as well as, at a late date, a tram line, and allow the passage of boats and, in particular, very large ships. The result of the project is the Pont Jacques Chabandelma, the longest vertical lift bridge in Europe. Its main span is 110 meters. The construction took place from 2009 to 2012 and the bridge was inaugurated in March 2013. Bordeaux, in southwestern France, with almost 1.2 million inhabitants, is a port city on the Garonne River. The architecture firm of the bridge is the SARL Architecture et Ouvrage d'Art. The design of the work and the project management within the Design Realization Consortium led by the GTM company, are carried out by Aegis GMI, the architects Thomas Lavigne and Christophe Choron, Ardesti and Hanover, and the design engineer Michel Virlanger. The bridge has been named in honor of Jacques Chabandelmas, who was a general during the World War II, mayor of Bordeaux and prime minister of France. The bridge is 575 meters long, 433 meters of which is the main deck, and 117 meters is the central lift span. The central section of the bridge remains in one piece, but lifts vertically up by to 58 meters to let tall ships pass underneath. The weight of the lifted part of the bridge is around 2,600 tons. 40 ropes of 69 meters in length each connect to this center bridge segment via deflection pulleys at the top of four pylons using counterweights. The bridge is configured for up to 43,000 vehicles a day. The bridge rises about 60 times a year. It takes just 11 minutes to fully lift or lower into place. Here, you can see the view from the top of one of the towers of the Chabon Delmas Bridge. Now, let's talk about predictive maintenance and permanent monitoring. Operation and maintenance of the structure is the responsibility of the company Effage Energy System, Clemcy, a branch of one of the top five biggest construction and concession companies in Europe. Effage Clemcy is specialized in the engineering and implementation of industrial technical installations. The lifting mechanism works on the principle of a giant elevator and requires the participation of a team of 10 staff members. From a control tower, two operators manage the maneuver while the rest of the team is spread over the various strategic points in the foothills of the bridge. In addition to this, the team manages the maintenance of the vital machinery, motors, shafts, huge cables and pulleys. To increase the overall quality in predictive maintenance, we have decided to install sound and vibration sensors to monitor the kinematic chain, the machinery, as well as the main pulleys on each side of the bridge. The bridge is mainly instrumented with IEPE sensors, accelerometers and microphones, while current sensors and tachometers are only used in the machinery instrumentation. Now. The interesting part begins, the measurement setup. Things to look out for can be vibration and inexplicable noise, such as knocks, which are phenomena below 10 kHz bandwidth, 
So the maximum required sample rate was 20 kHz, which fitted perfectly with the maximum sample rate of Krypton, a rich and distributed EtherCAT data acquisition system for field measurements in any environment. Krypton DAQ systems have an IP67 degree of protection and can operate in the extreme temperature range from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees. The whole instrumentation is 82 analog input channels separated in two sides of the bridge, 41 channels for each side with two pulleys. This application required the math processing tools of Dirasoft X3 data acquisition software to calculate real-time statistical parameters on each vibration sensor. The point of interest for the investigation was not the time channels, but from each input sensor the customer required to calculate statistical indicators to compare with alarm levels. An alarm counter written in C++ has also been implemented for this project. The challenge was to define the best DAQ architecture for this instrumentation, as some sensors are located on the top of pylons for the police monitoring. Each side has two pylons, and these pylons are 77 meters high and no source of power is available on the top. Krypton modules based on EtherCAT protocol technology allow having a cable that can run up to 100 meters from module to module connecting amplifiers together. A single cable is used to transmit data, power and synchronization between DAQ modules. Rugged DAQ module and EtherCAT were the two main reasons to select Krypton DAQ modules. These were the only solutions to place the data acquisition system on the top of each pylon without big investment. Connect DAQ system with existing database OPCUA. We have seen how we go about obtaining the data necessary for predictive maintenance. But a problem persists. How to use this data? This is what I will explain to you in this second part. Indeed, the other challenge, and not the least, was to interconnect the DAOs of data acquisition solution to the database over OPC UA to exploit the data in an Internet of Things IoT solution. OPC Unified Architecture, OPC UA, is a marking to marking communication protocol for industrial automation developed by the OPC Foundation. This standard is frequently used in Industry 4.0 for communication and data sharing between different devices. During bridge lifts, the condition-based maintenance team members are not situated in front of Dewasoft, but use a specific local web interface with only statistics and reports about the maneuver. The ClamC database collects information from the Dewasoft OPC UA server, such as alarm levels, alarm numbers, shock counting, statistic levels for accelerometers, microphones, and the AQ status. ClamC database solution is called Smart Forest. More than a single database, Smart Forest is a global solution, including a big data software platform, a multi-channel, multi-source interface for data collection, an artificial intelligence engine, a modular and user-friendly HMI. Smart Forest is a visual interface for web interfaces displaying values for alarm levels, alarm numbers, shock counting, statistic levels for accelerometers, microphones, and the AQ status. Conclusion Dewsoft and Clemcy were able to offer complete hardware and software solution for the entire bridge data acquisition and monitoring instrumentation. The software is intuitive and very easy to use and it includes 82 analog channels, 800 match calculations, 800 alarms and beautiful display. The same system can acquire analog data 
make the calculations, check the alarm level, and transmit the data using the latest communication OPCUA protocol to present data in a smart user interface. The monitoring and maintenance of bridges have become real strategic issues for Clemsey. Unfortunately, we have many examples of bridge accidents due to lack of maintenance, such as the Genoa Bridge in Italia on June 28, 2019, which collapsed. The realization of this project is a concrete showcase of the solution proposed by Derosoft and Clemsey. I will conclude with a short time-lapse video of the final result. Thank you for your attention and we would be happy to answer your questions.